Good morning, guys. Good morning. And I am so glad that you are here with me today. And I'm so glad that it's whole oh, Freestyle Friday. Well, listen, guys, I just wanted to reach out to say this to y'all, that God wants to remove toxins out of your life. That God sincerely does want to remove toxins out of your life. Now, a lot of times when we think about toxins, you know, it's the first of the year and a lot of people go into this whole little swing of, you know, hitting up the gym, going on all these detoxes and all these cleanses. And that's really, really good. But if you're not able to maintain the lifestyle after the detox and after the cleanse, why are you wasting your time? God is saying that where he is taking you in your future when it comes to interpersonal relationships, when it comes to living your best life, he is saying today that he is removing toxins up out of your life. See, some of you may be sitting there today sad and brokenhearted because you simply cannot understand why that person just left you out of the blue because you really put everything that you could into that relationship and you really, really love that person. But I want you to understand that this is the year of self-discovery and the frequency on the planet is being raised every day. And with the level of frequency being raised to the frequency of love, anything that's unlike love in your life that you thought was love, God is going to pull it out of your life. I want you to understand that he wanted to detox your environment of that individual. People leave because they're supposed to. Things change because they're supposed to change. God said he wants to detoxify your whole environment, but it begins with you. He wants to detoxify some of the things that has been eating you alive on the inside that you can't let go of. Some of the memories, some of the ill treatment that you experienced as a child, as an adolescent, even as an adult. God is saying that he wants you to let it go, let it loose so he can fill you up. I want you to understand that he wants you to just rid your whole system of anything that's eating at you. See, I didn't understand it myself until I began to fast more and meditate more and pray more. And in the midst of doing it, I was confronted with some of the most challenging emotions, impulses, and things that I would normally cave in. But God is saying that he wants to take you to a level that when you have impulses, when you have a familiar feeling to come upon you before you cave, before you give into it, he wants you to go ahead and reach into the unseen and do something a little bit different. You'll never get what you want in your life. You'll never fulfill the destiny that you're here to fulfill. You'll never walk free as long as you continue to stay in a toxic environment whether it's internally or externally. God has said, I want to detoxify your body. I want to detoxify your mind. I want to detoxify, detoxify your spirit. I want to get you in a situation where you get comfortable doing something different. God has said, I want you to have a different kind of swag. God is saying, I want you to have a different kind of walk. I want you to talk different. I want you to think different. I want you to eat different. I want you to pray different. I I want you to have different type of relational experiences with people that are different. But in order for you to get it, you have to go away from what's familiar. God wants you to get comfortable in the infinite sea of possibilities, baby. He wants you to get comfortable just using your faith and just using that muscle to do things and to feel things and to get happy about things that you haven't seen yet. He wants you to get comfortable sitting alone so that he can begin to speak to you and lull you to sleep with his loving presence. He wants you to get comfortable 
doing something that you ain't ever done before. He wants you to get comfortable about what you're doing and what you're saying and the things that you're choosing to participate in that you cannot see. It is through the sea of the infinite things that we cannot see that we birth things into this reality. You are a purified example of something that no one saw coming, but your mom allowed you to sit inside and she pushed you out and we saw you. But I want you to understand Understand that God wants you to get comfortable with the blessings that you can't see. He wants you to feel the bless blessings that you can't see. He wants you to move away from the actions and the activities and the thinkings that have held you captive for years. And he wants you to move into another direction of something that you've never experienced in your life. Some of you want to have some great things to happen for you in your life. But in order for you to have great things to happen in your life, I believe that you can make it happen as long as you continue to walk away from what's familiar. You can't stay where you are and get where you have to go. You got to get comfortable with being uncomfortable and depending on something that you can't see. But as long as what you're depending on is linked to God, then it's no failure in that. It's a guaranteed manifestation for you in this time. And until the next video, guys, mwah, peace, because I sure enough be believing in every last one of you. Bye now.